And we see a while ago the Clippers prepared for the task at hand. The Clippers look to take charge at the Staples Center, and we're bringing it to you live from Los Angeles here on 2K Sports. The Heat log another stop on their travel schedule in today's matchup. The results in their game on Sunday left no doubt. In that game, Clark, you want to talk about a convincing win. That's what you call a shellacking. We, we saw good production, good support from the backcourt. And, you know, their offense was really clicking in rhythm. He's going up against D. Wade himself. Wade is a stat sheet stuffer who's extremely explosive at getting to the rim. We'll see if he's up to the task. So here's Miami's starting group. Wade and LeBron are the wingmen. Chris Bosh and Ilgowskis in the middle. And Bibby. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's our Pac and Carter here. Uh, today I'm bringing you a NBA 2K11 My Player Mode video against D Wade himself. Um, I'm using my My Player Michael Jordan that I created from scratch. Um, I just wanted to bring a video to everybody to show that you know what if MJ was still in the league, you know, pushing it <laughs> 40 and over, you know, against uh, players like Dwayne Wade who are fast, quick, and potential MVPs in the league every year. Um, and this video is basically, you know, highlights of me and D-Wade. This is something that my players and video makers don't bring to Machinima or any community for that matter. Uh, mostly everybody always uploading videos of them just showing off in my player mode and them just scoring. But I wanted to bring the both sides. I wanted to bring the good and the bad. I wanted to show everyone that it's really not easy on Hall of Fame difficulty. As you can see here, D Wade just slammed on my neck. You know what I'm saying? This is what happens in the game. I, I can't just let this stuff ride. I gotta become better. I gotta better myself. Now, throughout the video, D Wade and me are just gonna be showing off on each other. Um, and I'll also stop talking around halftime and, you know, the sprite spark of the game in the fourth quarter. But for now, you just gotta listen to me. <laughs> um, basically, I wanted to talk about E3. Um, I'm a big Call of Duty fan and NBA 2K11 fan, so those are the games that I will be buying this, um, how should I say, this fall, I guess, you know, because um, the dates are usually a month off from each other, but um, I don't know how it is this year, but for I do want to tell you for a fact that uh, NBA 2K12 will be the first game that I will grab out of the two, even if the dates are similar or a month away, I will be grabbing NBA 2K12. And I will make five my players this season um, for that game. Um, I will make a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and a center. And I will work on all five of them through the periods of time when the game comes out. Of course, you know, I got to state what I don't like in NBA 2K11. The first thing I don't like is the my player presentation. If I'm leading the league in um, points per game, I should be getting told that I'm the person leading the league, not the person in fourth, the person that I'm playing. I don't want that. I want to hear my name being called out. Also, I hate the animations. The animations this year are horrible. Um, if you get blocked um, and it looks like you got your head taken off, they count it as a steal in the turnover. It's ridiculous. Like the animations, it's just they try it too hard. I hope in 2K12 they will bring a different type of aspect. They said that they were only going to work on a little bit of presentation and free throws. I'm really not worried about too much about free throws. I'm worried about the gameplay, the animation, the presentation. I'm worried about the servers. I play NBA Team Up Crew all year long. And I'm telling you now, the, the servers are just bad. You know, if you get kicked from a game and your crew gets the loss... It's like, why are you even playing the game? What did I come here for? So hopefully, you know, 2K will work on that also while working on the presentation and the free throws. <laughs> um, I did like the Eric Gord interview. Um, he's a real cool guy. You know, um, as you can see, I'm on the Clippers here. And, you know, Eric Gordon is, you know, a person on this team that does contribute besides me and myself being a shooting guard. Now, uh, let's get into the Call of Duty of things. Um, oh, I hope y'all like that hustle play right there. <laughs> um, basically, um, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, it's probably going to be the most anticipated game of the year. 
without a doubt um a lot of kids are gonna drop out of school because of this game i'm telling you uh i don't i don't know what I don't know what um the gaming world is doing to to the kids this year. It's like they do not want them to go to school. They do not want them to do their homework. <laughs> they do not want them to succeed because they're coming out with all these great games. Uh just like Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 is going to be a great game this year, I believe. You know, the graphics look really great. They um the people who made Battlefield 2 and 3, they stepped up with making Homefront. I don't know if anybody knows, but they did make that game. So, you know, the graphics are looking pretty good for that game, but I'm waiting on Modern Warfare 3 myself. Um, I did watch that 16 minute uh, video of the gameplay for single player mode and a little bit uh, of a little bit more from Call of Duty. Now, the game looks amazing. Um, the attachments look amazing on the gun. The graphics look great, just as you know, as they always do. Um, one thing that I do hope since the game is supposed to be being made by two different people from Black Ops to Modern Warfare, I hope the knifing is just the same as on Modern Warfare 2 because the knifing on Black Ops is horrible. So, you know, I'm glad that, you know, this is another team making this game that made a crazy all number one time of all type of game like Modern Warfare 2. Now, I'm just ranting here, but uh, we're about to get to the halftime show. Uh, what I do want to show you is... And the first half is now in the books. Nice numbers from D-Wade. He's got 27 points, and he's knocked down five shots at the charity strike. Good numbers for him. He's a one-man wrecking crew out there. And we'll be right back here in Los Angeles. And welcome, everyone, to HP at the Half. I'm Damon Bruce. Our season is now well underway. Let's get you to it. Miami up on top against the Clippers at Staples Center. They're currently sitting in second place in the conference. They'd like to build upon that position. Dwayne Wade putting on a clinic against the Clippers. He's already racked up 27 points, also helped out with a pair of rebounds. And not to be outdone, the Clippers also giving it their all. A fluid attack making these extra passes really opens up an offense. There's been some great work in this one by Blake Griffin. He's got eight points and has gone to work on the glass, grabbing a few rebounds. Some great plays from these two through the first two, and both lead their sides in scoring tonight. And now that's it for us here in the studios. Let's send you back to your arena. Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, waiting to call the second half for you. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, this portion of the video will be about the big commentators um, on NBA 2K11 for YouTube. Um, first off, I want to uh, talk about Shakedown 2012. Um, I just linked up with him a few days ago. He's a really cool guy. Um, when I get when I do get my Xbox, we will link up. Um, he seems like you know a really down to earth person. A lot of people say that he's not, but to me he does you know give a lot of back to his community he does comment back he does hit, hit up people's profile but you know some people say things because they like to hate but you know shout out to him uh the next person that i want to talk about is d coops and you know what i'm saying aka two coop uh that's my homie right there you know from day one when i came to youtube um i added him as a friend i subbed i commented on the vids he commented on mine he also, you know, get back to me on Twitter. We message each other, each other. He's a real cool dude. Like a lot of people, you know, the big commentators, they tend not to get back to you because their message boxes are so flooded. But it seems like, you know, he has, he must have an iPhone or something like a phone where when he gets the email, he just goes directly into it, gets back to you. And that's that. But shout out to D Coop. Um, the next person, which everybody probably already know who I'm going to talk about is Chris Smooth. AKA, you know, haha, <laughs> that guy. Um, he's really cool also. Um, a lot of people will say, hey, do you know Smooth? I tell them, you know, I know him through YouTube. I have messaged him a couple times. I have hit him up on Twitter. He has answered me back. You know, it may take time for him to answer some people back, but you gotta understand, this guy has hundreds of thousands of subs. So, you know, when you get to him, it's like, well, he hasn't messaged me back and it's only been two days. Well, sometimes you may have to wait a week for that get back. You know, this guy has a lot of, like, I mean, a lot of traffic coming through his channel at all times. So, Doris. And Kevin, for that great stretch the Heat put together, they get the Sprite Spark Award. They're on a scoring tear and have now taken the lead, playing with a ton of confidence, guys. 
Doris, thank you. Big scoring run there was the spark they needed. Everything started to synergize. Damn, they didn't even let me finish my shout out. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Chris Move, man. Um, you know where his channel is at. Um, now, this is the fourth quarter. Um, basically, they kind of took over in the fourth. Um, I tried my best to come back, but you know, it seems like the the team was actually playing playing better than me and D Wade were. Like me and D Wade went on kind of a slump in the fourth. But it seemed like the team just pulled it out. Then he just came on. Like, he just heated up on me at the end. I, I wasn't able to stop him, as you can see. I just skipped through the whole replay. I just couldn't do it. Now, right here, you can see I did the little Euro step. You know, bad animation. But, hey, I got it off, right? Now, I come down court. Give D-Wade a little move. But guess what? D-Wade knows all about that. He just took off on me. Crazy. That is ridiculous, man. Then he just throws a dime. That's what people do. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I guess this is about to be the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope you comment, rate, subscribe. Um, it really helps me out a lot. Um, of course, I have so many videos coming that I don't even know when they're coming out. All right. I'm out of here, guys. Um, peace. iPod King Carter. I'm out. Once again, you've been named the conference's player of the month. What changes in your reaction to winning this award? Man, I'm elated to win this again, man. Really, really I am, truthfully. I don't think I can really compare it to the last time. It's a different time, a different situation, you know? To be recognized above all my peers, it's quite humbling, really, man. I couldn't have done this without the support of the fans, everyone in the organization, and, of course, my family.